international runners like Clara and Ricardo from Florence, Italy, use one common word to describe Chicagoans, nice. They the entrance with the passport control, but we found a very nice man, uh, yeah. and they invite us to, to take the right way to go to the downtown. Yeah. Very gentleman, believe me. The 46th Bank of America Chicago Marathon welcoming thousands of participants from more than 100 countries in all 50 states. Start and finish in Grand Park beginning at 7.30 a.m. Sunday a complete Chicago Marathon guide, including expected road closures, can be found on the WBBM News Radio website. Brandon Eisen, News Radio 1059 WBBM. Police are investigating after the discovery of human remains found on the near west side yesterday. WBBM's Mike Krauser joins us live on the news line with what we know so far. Cisco, the remains were found in a box by someone walking on Taylor Street near Rockwell at about 6 p.m. Police are not saying exactly what was found in the box, one body part or more. The location is near the medical district, which includes medical schools. It's unclear at this point if there is a connection to one of the medical facilities or this is something else. Police only say that detectives are investigating. Live, Mike Krauser, News Radio 105.9 WBBM. Assessment of the damage from Hurricane Milton is underway in Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis' first stop was in St. Lucie County, where five people died in a tornado that hit yesterday. Sheriff Keith Pearson says they're looking for more possible victims. As our rescue team is still out there, this is a rescue mission. We're sifting through the debris. The governor says search and rescue missions are continuing around the state. He doesn't think first responders will find many victims in evacuation zones. My sense is that a lot of the people did leave. He says he expects to see a lot of water rescues as inland rivers rise over the next few days. Peter King, CBS News, Orlando. Northern Illinois University is getting a big financial boost. A $40 million donation from the Bowstert Family Foundation is the university's single largest gift. NIU announced the donation will help pay for construction of the Bowstert Bowell Health Technology Center that's expected to break ground in 2026. It will also support endowments for faculty, student scholarships, and technology. The money comes as Northern is dealing with a 7% drop in student enrollment in the last five years, but numbers are steady this year. Nancy Hardy, News Radio 1059, WBBM. The winner of one of the most coveted Nobel Awards has been announced. Here's CBS's Cammie McCormick. The Peace Prize went to a group of Japanese atomic bomb survivors. This grassroots movement of atomic bomb survivors from Hiroshima and Nagasaki is receiving the Peace Prize for its efforts to achieve a world free of nuclear weapons. The Nobel Committee has in the past honored efforts to eradicate nuclear weapons. The final Nobel Prize of this year for economics will be awarded Monday. Give you the answer to this hour's Smart Quiz question in just 90 seconds. Hey, Amazon Prime members, why pay more for groceries? Shop Prime exclusive deals at Amazon Fresh and get 50% off a three-pound bag of grapes for $3.99. Get deals on thousands of grocery items and save up to 50% on weekly favorites. Shop Prime exclusive deals at Amazon Fresh. Select varieties. Once upon a time, there was an SUV where everything for every passenger feels just right. Not too loud or too quiet. Introducing the all new three row Infiniti QX80 with individual audio zones that isolates phone calls to the driver's seat. Discover every just right feature in the all new QX80 at infinityusa.com. Available feature, cannot buffer all interior sound. See owner's manual for details. Want more flexibility when you shop? With over a 1,000 stores nationwide, you can get what you need now through Instacart. And with Klarna, you can pay now or later. All you do is add items to your cart on the Instacart app, and at checkout, select Pay With, then select Klarna. Flexible shopping through Instacart, flexible payments with Klarna. New Instacart customers get $25 off their first order of $75 or more when they pay with Klarna using code 25KLARNA. Expires 131.25. Terms and exclusions apply. See instacart.com or download the app for more details and to start shopping. Wendy's Breakfast Burrito has an entire breakfast in every bite. Fresh cracked eggs, seasoned potatoes, American cheese, cheese sauce, and sausage or bacon. So the first bite is like fresh cracked American eggs, cheese, cheese sauce. sauce. Bacon. And the second bite is like fresh cracked American eggs, cheese, cheese sauce. Bacon. You get, yeah, I mean, you get the idea. And now get yours with a dollar any size soft drink. Gotta be Wendy's. Limited time only. Price of participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Exclusions apply. 
This hour's smart quiz question was, what is the capital of Vermont? The answer, Montpelier. John Jockey in Naperville. Hey, John, how are you? Good morning. So good to have you listening. Uh, Naperville, I love that Schmaltz Deli right there on Route 34. <laughs> Delicious bagels. He is always hungry. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not because I know the places to go. You see, I can get that taken care of. You see how that works? I thought you wanted it delivered. <laughs> <laughs> you just want tickets to see The Beat Goes On Live at Governor's State University on Saturday, November 2nd. For tickets and more information, visit centertickets.net. Be listening tomorrow morning, 722 and 822 for our weekend news quiz questions. Now, the lowest gas prices from News Radio 105.9 WBBM. Thank you to our listeners for the following gas prices in Schaumburg. The Mobile on Springing Scooth is selling gas for $3.59 a gallon and in Posen, the Sitco on 147th has gas for $3.37 a gallon. 7.38, traffic and weather together on the 8th, sponsored by Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing, and Electric. Here's Neil Fiorito. Well, a big backup today getting out of Benuco along I-80 eastbound past Ridge Road to 55 with a crash in the right lane. Then you're heavy at LaGrange Road. That is crash cleanup. On the Edens coming inbound right around Willow Road, we're getting rid of a down light pole in the right lane. Watch that again on the Edens coming inbound past Willow Road. Down light pole in the right lane. Outbound, you're looking at 22 minutes. You do have delays on the way out. A stall on the Kennedy now inbound at Division in the left lane. Pretty heavy from Lawrence. 51 in from O'Hare. 40 off the junction. Out to the airport, you can expect about 35 minutes. On the Eisenhower, still cleaning up a crash involving a semi inbound right around the Tri-State. And still heavy from York Road. It's an hour or two driving in from I-90. 40 minutes on the way out to the J. Adams. Stevenson inbound, 44 minutes for the veterans, 36 in for the Tri-State. Going out to 355 is 31 minutes. The Dan Ryan is 27 in from the merge into downtown. A little slower for you in the express lanes if you want to stay with the local lanes. The Dan Ryan outbound is looking pretty good. Over on I-57, no major delays. Bishop Ford is slowing inbound from Stony Island to the Ryan. 19 minutes there from 8094. Usaba Lakeshore Drive northbound has delays from 18th. Over to Jackson, the southbound side not too bad. Across the Illinois tollways, no major backups. They're all looking pretty good. In northwest Indiana, you have a delay on 8094 eastbound from Burr over to 65. Some road work there. Next report, 748 on News Radio 1059 WBBM. WBBM Acumen. Weather sunshine will mix with clouds today. It's going to become breezy. It's summer like this afternoon with our high approaching the record for the date of 87. And partly cloudy tonight, though 58 tomorrow. Much cooler. Cloud, limited sun. Maybe a couple of showers and a thunderstorm in the offing, especially for the afternoon, the high 67. Some sunshine, windy, cool Sunday, the high 65. 48 at McHenry, 50, 55 right now at O'Hare at Midway and 57 at the lakefront. Our high, 87 this afternoon. I'm back here with the meteorologist Joe Lundberg at 740. Northwestern University is among dozens of schools across the country accused of conspiring to increase costs for some students. The accusations come via a class action lawsuit filed in Chicago this week by a current American University student and a former Cornell University student. The two say Northwestern, the University of Notre Dame, and about 38 others worked with the Student Placement Service College Board to ensure applicants in need of non-federal financial aid with non-custodial parents were subject to a more scrutinized review of income and assets. The College Board defines non-custodial parents as those who did not live with the student most of the past year. The suit alleges the violation of antitrust law raised the net cost of attendance by over $6,000 compared to schools not following the agreement. Northwestern says in a statement they do not comment on pending litigation. Andy Day, News Radio 105.9 WBBM. There's a management shakeup at a major automaker. Chief Gladiator. Stellantis says that CEO Carlos Tavares will retire in 2026 when his contract runs out. The company, with brands including Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram, has also announced major senior management changes as it struggles to turn around its lagging North American operations. Stellantis last week lowered its forecast from positive cash flow to negative cash flow of between $5.5 billion to $10.9 billion this year. Jennifer Kuiper, CB. 
CBS News. Top trending stories coming up next, along with all the latest in sports. WBBM News Radio is celebrating a century of service to Chicago. Reflect on the iconic voices and dedicated journalists who shape Chicago's news. John Holtman, Felicia Middlebrooks, and Dave Ennett celebrate the Bulls' 1991 championship. For WBBM Sports, Dave Ennett. You know when we got our first clue that the Bulls were going to win the championship? When? Now, our Brian Davis recorded this in the fourth quarter at the Forum in L.A. last night. Is it the satellite? Yeah. Tune in to News Radio 1059 WBBM every day to hear what the next century will bring. Sponsored by Prevagen. Prevagen is the number one pharmacist recommended memory support brand. Learn more at Prevagen.com. Hey, Amazon Prime members. Why pay more for groceries when you can save big on thousands of items at Amazon Fresh? Shop Prime exclusive deals and save up to 50% on weekly grocery favorites. Plus, save 10% on Amazon brands. Like our new brand, Amazon Saver, 365 by Whole Foods Market, a plenty, and more. Come back for new deals rotating every week. Don't miss out on savings. Shop Prime exclusive deals at Amazon Fresh. Select varieties. Once upon a time, there was an SUV where everything for every passenger feels just right. Not too loud or too quiet. Introducing the all-new three-row Infiniti QX80 with individual audio zones that isolates phone calls to the driver's seat. Discover every just-right feature in the all-new QX80 at InfinityUSA.com. Available feature. Cannot buffer all interior sound. See owner's manual for details. Wendy's Breakfast Burrito has an entire breakfast in every bite. Fresh cracked eggs, seasoned potatoes, American cheese, cheese sauce, and sausage or bacon. So the first bite is like fresh fried American sausage cheese or sauce. bacon. And the second bite is like fresh fried American sausage cheese, cheese or sauce. bacon. You get, I mean, you get the idea. And now get yours with a dollar any size soft drink. Gotta be Wendy's. Limited time only. Price of participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Exclusions apply. One. Two, three, four. Those are numbers, but you already knew that. If you want to know what number you're going to pay each month for your car, use Kelly Blue Book My Wallet on Auto Trader. They're really good at numbers. Auto Trader. Ah, and here we have travelers in their natural habitat enjoying guaranteed 4 p.m. checkout of fine hotels and resorts booked through Amex Travel, and they don't even see what's coming at them. We're in. We got the table. Yep. With Resi Priority Notify, they're alerted when hard-to-get reservations open up. Reservation for two? Mm, save the best for last. Thanks to Amex Platinum, the last day vacation brings yet another experience. That's the powerful backing of American Express. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash with Amex. Our daughter, Jessie, loves playing detective. A clue. But since we discovered she has sensitive skin, we've been playing detective, too. We thought the problem was our puppy. But it was actually our old detergent. Aha. Uh -huh. So we switched to Tide Free and Gentle. Tide cleans better than the leading competitive free detergent, and it doesn't leave behind irritating residues. Plus, Tide Free and Gentle has no dyes or perfumes, so it's gentle on her skin. Case closed. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide Free and Gentle. Top trending stories on WBBMNewsRadio.com. This year's Farmer's Almanac predicts a colder than usual winter, but don't expect a single wind chill warning. The National Weather Service has decided to retire the term. Meteorologists say the calculation is obsolete now that they have extreme cold advisories that do the same more accurately. They'll issue them whenever it feels like 20 below or colder. For all the details on road closures and traffic expectations, heading into Chicago Marathon on weekend. You can also check out the latest video on the WBBM TikTok. It features Neil Fiorito in all his glory. It's just great. <laughs> it's also, a good one. <laughs> closure information is also on an article on our website. Yeah, and try not to do it, overdo it with Neil's TikTok. It is great, though. I love and the dance. That he does. The I love TikTok how he tries dance. to catch the elevator. Yeah. He's so dedicated. Mm -hmm. But a new survey finds that Americans lose three entire days per month scrolling for content, and the number gets worse based on your state of mind. People feel that they have a bad mental health 
People who feel they have bad mental health spend even more time online around 15 days per month. 746, traffic and weather together on the 8th coming up. Time to discover you in Hamilton County, Indiana is closer than you think. Now sports, here's Josh Liss. Yeah, we've watched the WNBA grow right before our eyes this summer, and the league has announced its finals will stretch from a best of five to a best of seven next year. Big announcement from the league. And in last night's start of the WNBA finals, favored New York's Brianna Stewart misses a free throw for the win at the end of regulation. They're into overtime with Minnesota. Stewart has a chance again at the end to tie. Has to get it in. Find Stewart. Stewart for the tie. This is the layup. And Minnesota with a miracle game one win. Brianna Stewart misses two huge shots. The Lynx win in New York 95-93 in overtime. Getting 21 from Nafisa Collier. Entering last night, teams were 0-183 in the playoffs. Went down 15 or more in the last five minutes of regulation. Minnesota comes back from down 18 to win game one. They'll play again Sunday night. The Bears getting ready for their Sunday morning tilt with the Jaguars, who did finally make it out of storm-ravaged Florida to London. San Francisco handles Seattle 36-24 to move into a first-place tie in the NFC West. Northwestern has lost three out of four and suits up at 3-2 and two Maryland, 7 o'clock tonight. Same time, the Blackhawks are guests in the Winnipeg Jets home opener. The Yankees swat away the Royals three games to one, 3-1 behind Garrett Cole and host the Cleveland-Detroit winner on Monday night. The Guardians stay alive with a 5-4 win over the Tigers. Josh Liss, News Radio 105.9 WBBM. It's 748, traffic and weather. Together on the 8th, here's Neil Fiorito. All right, Mike, a couple of issues. We're going to start along I-80 eastbound. Pretty solid traffic past Ridge Road to I-55, getting into Joliet. You have a crash there and clean up in the right lane. Before you get stuck in the traffic, you might want to get to U.S. 6 or up to U.S. 52 and use that instead. Elsewhere on the expressways, the Eden's coming inbound at Willow Road, a down light pole. It's off on the right shoulder now. Uh, police on the scene there with some exposed wires with that down light pole. But again, it looks like it's out of the lanes. Up on slowing in spots from the Kennedy to pass Tui. 21 minutes to get out to Lake Cook Road. We have a stall in the Kennedy inbound division. It's gone. Still heavy from Lawrence, though. 51 in from O'Hare. 40 minutes off the junction. Out to the airport. Expect about 35 minutes. Pretty busy on the Eisenhower already coming in. An hour three. 38 off of the Mannheim exit. Going out to the Jane Adams Tollway I-90. Metro wants to remind you to avoid delays coming to and from the West suburbs. Think about the UP West line in Villa Park on Ardmore Avenue. Stevenson, it looks like we have a crash outbound right before Harlem on the shoulder. Heavy in spots from Kedzie. We appreciate the call from Diane on the WBBM traffic tip line at 855-780 Road. Getting out to the Tri-State, 29 minutes, 37 out to 355. On the Dan Ryan coming in about about a half hour from the merge into downtown. I-57 moving along fine. A little slow on the Ford coming in at the Dan Ryan. The Sable Lakeshore Drive northbound 18 to Jackson is your delay. Across the tollways, nothing major in northwest Indiana. A delay on 8094 through the work zone eastbound from Burr over to 65. Next report, 758, News Radio 105.9, WBBM. WBBM Acumulator, a breezy, very warm afternoon is shaping up for our area. Sunshine will mix with clouds later today. We're looking at a high this afternoon of 87. That's the record from 1928. Partly cloudy tonight, though, 58. Much cooler tomorrow, more clouds and sun. Look for a couple of showers, maybe a thunderstorm, especially in the afternoon, the high 67. It's 43 in Aurora, 55 at Midway and O'Hare, and 57 at the lakefront, going up to 87. I'm back here with the meteorologist, Joe Lundberg. At 7.50. Chicago's only station dedicated to news around the clock. News Radio 105.9 WBBM.